Hello, good afternoon, Sarah Picaro here, and today's topic is going to be on word salad. So we all know what a salad is. Usually you take a bunch of ingredients and you mix them together and voila, you have a salad. So taking that same analogy and applying it to words, specifically when it comes to that toxic and unhealthy person in your life, what is a word salad and what does it have to do with most likely what you're experiencing with this person? So a word salad is essentially when this toxic and unhealthy person uh, is talking to you, using their words, and everything they're saying just doesn't make sense. It's like that salad that's been tossed up. And you find yourself thinking, wait, what? Hold it, that, that doesn't even make any sense. What are you saying? And you find yourself going crazy and feeling really confused because logically you're most likely engaged in a normal conversation where it goes from A to B. And this person is like from A to P to O to R to C, to like all over the place. And they do this on purpose. They, they have a reason and an intent behind this. And so the conversation with them in this word salad will completely like lack any kind of logic. Uh, it will just seem to be a bunch of random comments that don't seem like they fit together with whatever the topic is. And you'll notice that they do this most often in the middle of an argument. And they do this to keep you frustrated, to keep you confused, and to just have you say, you know what, whatever. That way they don't have to commit to anything. They don't have to come up with a resolution or a solution. And you've brought up this topic of the conversation most likely for that. You're looking for answers. You're looking for a resolution and a solution. And so they're gonna spin you all over the place, feeling like your mind is like inside of a ping pong machine um, in this word salad. And so it's a, it's a, conversation going around and around in circles and it, it never ends. It's like this endless repetition and you just find yourself, I've even had my, my ex would do it even over text. It's like, what, what is this? Like, I would even show it to people and say, what the hell? What is he talking about? What does this mean? And they're like, well, I don't know. I have no idea. So this word salad is a tactic that they use. And they're not interested in getting from A to B like you or I are. They're interested in keeping you confused and frustrated so they can go on about doing what they're going to do. But over time, what this does is it causes you to feel like you can't bring things up because it'll turn into an argument and then it has you feel like you're walking around on eggshells all the time. And it starts to just really, really become frustrating because there's never any solution. You don't ever get from A to B you're on this crazy route to all these other letters. So it's designed to shut you up, basically, is what this tactic is. And it's designed to make you look and feel like you're going crazy so then they can validate and say, look, you're the one that's crazy. Like, you're the one that doesn't get it. And, uh, well, of course you're the one that doesn't get it. So they mix this in with gaslighting and, and just all this crazy making. Um, and they'll generally use statements, absolute statements, like always or never. You always say that or you never do this. And then they'll start to accuse you of things and project the things that they're doing onto you, uh, specifically like cheating or lying. Well, you always lie to me whenever it comes to blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, you're the one that, that never does this or always says that. And this is actually um, insight into what they're doing. And a lot of us uh, have experienced relationships with toxic and unhealthy people and you know feel this and they're they're the ones cheating lying manipulating uh so they're not interested in solutions to the issue that you're trying to bring up and they will use this word salad technique specifically when it comes to arguments and this validates their need to always win so know that you're not going crazy uh if you need to break from this you can simply say you know what I I need to I need a break. You talk about this later, because you're gonna find yourself so wrapped up in this confusion and this word salad that you're gonna get frustrated and angry and want to go crazy. Uh, 
I know I've been there. <laughs> so know that you are not wrong for feeling this way. And one thing I recommend to do when you're experiencing this is to step away, is to take a break from it and say, you know what, I we can talk about this later. This isn't a good time for me. And then go journal all this down because later when they come back, they're not always 100% evil and mean. And a lot of us feel like we're stuck in this cycle because we think, well, they're not always, you know, the good times are so good. And yeah, when it's bad, it's horrible, but when it's good, it's really good. So write this down, keep a journal, keep documentation. If you, ah, if you're still with them, make a plan to get out. And this will still happen after you're out. So even after you're out, journal everything down because your mind will start to think about the good times and want to go back and miss them. Write it all down though, so that you can refer back to that when you're feeling like, oh, I want to text them or call them or email them or whatever it is, follow them on Facebook or Instagram. That's the time most when you need this journal and this documentation of this word salad and the gaslighting, the manipulation, the lies, that you can refer back to those because that is the actual truth and that's what you're experiencing and going through. So word salad, I hope that this describes to you what it is and how this toxic and unhealthy person uses it to manipulate, control you, and keep you in the cycle so they can get what they want. They have their cake and eat it too. Um, that is it for today. And for now, thank you guys as always for tuning in. If this is you and you are looking for help and support in breaking the cycle and learning to love and heal your life after experiencing this, please reach out to me. You can click on the banner and schedule strategy call and we'll talk about what you and I can do to get you there. Thanks you guys.